A very good evening uh, to everybody watching. Thank you for joining us tonight on the Evening Review. My name is Toivon Jabela, your host. Tonight in studio, we are joined by Dr. Charles Mobita. He is a spokesperson for the former plan combatants, who the association of uh, former plan combat combatants, uh, who held a meeting uh, over the weekend in Ongwediva to strategize on the way forward, including plans to help regain the former glory of the Swapo Party. Thank you, Char Charlie, for, for making time. Okay. <laughs> Last time I met you, it, yes. was, uh, <laughs> it was explosive. <laughs> so tonight yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sparing you from Jabu. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so thank you for making time. So the Ongwediva event, I think, uh, of course, I think the biggest takeaway there is former combatants saying that uh, they want Swapo to regain its former glory. What does that mean? No, it basically means that, uh, look, um, we need the Swapo party uh, to overwhelmingly win the elections in 2024 yeah. and uh, all other elections beyond that. Um, we were a little bit disappointed with the performance of the party. Yeah. And that was, uh, you know, seemingly occasioned uh, by, you know, a number of things. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, foremost of that is, is, is lack of discipline, yeah. uh, lack of uh, respecting the constitution of the party, uh, the tradition of the party. Mm. You see, um, and we are cognizant of the fact that, you see, the Swapo Party has a legacy. It's the only one in this country that has a legacy of liberation, mm. a legacy of uh, a selfless sacrifice, yeah. a, a legacy of uh, the love uh, to ensure that every Namibian is well looked after and enjoys the fruits of independence. Yeah. Yes, you have other... We are also aware that you have other uh, political quizlings um, that also have legacies. We cannot deny that. <laughs> yeah. PDM has a legacy of uh, a delaying independence of Namibia. It has a legacy of collaboration. Um, and then Swanu has a legacy of uh, having somehow not, uh, not forged ahead with, with its principles. Somewhere along the way, they yeah. gave up. Yeah, yeah. You know, then you have um, uh, IPC, LPM, COD, RDP. Mm -hmm. um, they all have uh, legacies too, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, their legacy is uh, a legacy of crybabies. Yeah. Uh, they all joined particular parties uh, and screamed in there. So the only thing you know is tantrums. They threw tantrums and then they ran away. <laughs> yeah. So they have a legacy of tantrums. So now we are saying um, our people uh, are being misled mm. by these uh, tantrum politicians. And uh, it is time that as commissars uh, of the liberation struggle, and I keep saying this, uh, if you are able to fight for something, yeah you should surely be able to maintain what you fought for. Yeah. You should be able to defend what you fought for. You should be able to ensure that what you fought for materializes. The mm. results are there. Mm -hmm. So the major thing there, uh, when we say uh, to return the former glory, is that um, we came up with uh, plans yeah. on how to do that. Okay. And we are going to do that. Okay. Yes. So, Charlie, the... <clears throat> It's one thing to, to say that, uh, and it's correct, that um, there has been, um, uh, the constitution of the party has been trembled upon uh, along the way. But that couldn't have been the, the reason, for example, why in 20, 2019 and 2020, the party lost uh, its two-thirds two majority, uh, it lost the capital window to the opposition, because... If you're trembling on the party constitution, that is just an internal party issue. But if somebody in Kabe constituency is not voting for you, it's not because of the constitution of the party, it's because there must have been something else, such as not delivering services. 
Not necessarily. It's not about delivering services. The people of this country are not blind. Yeah. They are, you know, they know what it takes to bring uh, to bring uh, services. So the reason is, if you take an example of uh, 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 Rundu, yeah. uh, where my brother, you know, won as an independent. Yeah, candidate. Bangu, Palace Bangu. Yes, mm -hmm. the same uh, the same applies to the four constituencies that we lost in in Zambezi. Yeah. You see, it is all about this quarter to twelve people that want to come for lunch. Yeah. Because the structures of the party nominate candidates. Yeah. Okay. And they did. They nominated those candidates. But then you had other people that do not understand the constitution of the party, yeah. that do not understand the rules and procedures or the code of conduct or the program of the party. Yeah. And they want to do their own thing and in the process circumvent the processes that the party has put in. Yeah. So they then put their own people yeah, yeah. individualistically mm. see, against the, the wishes of the party. Yeah. So then the membership, it's not that the membership did not want to vote for the party. The membership were just against the trampling of these rules and procedures mm. by some individuals. So, and I will tell you right now yeah. that those constituencies that we lost, yeah. we will win them back yeah, yeah. by making sure that we adhere to our rules and procedures yeah. and we nominate and elect the right candidates. Yeah. One of the things that has been said, Charlie, in the party is that um, is the, the, the invisibility of, of former liberation fighters, people who defended the ideals of Swapo, the ideals of the struggle, and the ideals of independence to say that when the country becomes independent, these are the things that we are going to put in place. The people who remained in, uh, in decision-making powers are mostly those that now made it to, polit to you know, becoming ministers and whatnot. But the, the, the war generals, the fighters, the people who really understand what it was like to fight for these things were nowhere to be found. Now, the Plain Combatants Association has been incorporated into the party as a wing of some sort. Does it help a bit to bring back that sort of discipline in, in, in the party? That's what we aim to do. That's what we aim to do. And people should, uh, you know, uh, look at us as if maybe we are trying to compete yeah. uh, with those who joined the party uh, at dinner table. Yeah. Uh, we are not. Uh, we voluntarily went into a struggle knowing very well yeah. that we might not even come back alive, okay? So we went in there, not because we wanted to become ministers, all right? Mm. But after observing what has been happening, after observing how, you know, these new members with new type of mindset mm. uh, have been, you know, tarnishing literally tarnishing the image of the party, yeah. we have decided that we cannot sit idle because otherwise the party itself might end up, you know, dying, yeah. you know, and we, we cannot afford that, we cannot afford that. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we uh, convened as former plant combatant to say, we have now an obligation yeah. to defend that revolution. Nobody else. Some of most of these people that just joined the party recently, they do not understand that there's an obligation on a member mm -hmm. to defend that revolution. They do yeah. not yeah. because they did not see the blood. They did not see the sacrifices. So, and we are not in this thing uh, for gain. Yeah. No, we are in it for the party. Mm -hmm. If the party gains, I am happier. The mistake that was made, uh, and I think it is because of the principles of the party, yeah. particularly the principle of uh, ideology, yeah. I mean, sorry, of solidarity, yeah, yeah. that, you know, we needed to accommodate every Namibian who aspires to the ideals of freedom, justice, and, and so forth, mm. that the party accommodated all these people. 
Yeah. But we were looking. We saw it, the the type of permanent secretaries that we had, yeah, yeah. the type of directors that we had in ministries, the the the, the type of uh, CEOs that we had, and 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 most the majority of these people were literally running down the country, mm. and they were not at all um, concerned about the manifesto of the party. Yeah. They were not concerned about the aims and objectives of the party. Mm. Hence, you find that the party's plans uh, to ensure economic development and socio socioeconomic development yeah. could not move faster because they were being blocked yeah. at government level by yeah. people who pretended to be, and there are still some who pretend to be uh, super swapos and all that yeah. because they would just want a job. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But we know all these. We know them in and out. Yeah. Some of them have jumped out, as I say. You know, <laughs> they've jumped out because they realize that hey, in here we, you know, will be detected. Yeah. But uh, we are resolute. Yeah. We are serious that the party, the Swapo party, has to retain its image yeah. as an. In integrity you know that integrity of the party has to come back mm. it has to end the respect of the people mm. we would not have uh, you know ventured into uh, years of yeah. struggle yeah. years of uh, sacrifice uh, w without uh, actually uh, endeavoring to deliver yeah. services to the people mm. we wouldn't have done that Swapo uh, endured all those sacrifices in order to come and deliver the services. Yeah. So uh, maybe when we are there, I would also want to say something uh, about uh, a very disturbing uh, um, phenomenon. Yeah. Uh, right now you find a lot of people yeah. uh, that are running around, registering people. Uh, we want a former... Uh, uh, refugees or former exiles to register to get uh, money of the united nations blah blah and all that kind of thing yeah when we went into exile we didn't know anything about that money yeah uh, that the un is going to pay us money so for us as former plant combatants for us that's immaterial yeah you know if if namibia if the government uh, so wishes to say we want to thank you for your services, yeah. as it happens everywhere else in the world. It's a token. Yeah. That, that's fine with us. Mm. That's fine with us. The only problem that people mistake, and they think that maybe we are here for money and all that, yeah. what they mistake is that the same as with the uh, uh, rehabilitation. Yeah. You find there are some people that uh, were rehabilitated, they, they, they were given, resettled actually, yeah, yeah. given farms and whatnot. Mm. Others were not given farms. Mm. So now when you come up as government and say, we are going to give uh, former plant combatants an X amount of money to say thank you, mm. or an X amount of money for them to start a proper living, mm. then give all of them, don't give only some. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's our concern. Yeah, yeah. That's our only concern that all of them, everyone yeah. who was in that uh, liberation struggle should receive what is due to them. Mm -hmm. That's what we've been fighting for. But we'll not be fighting for, uh, you know, things like pension money. I've been in the struggle for so many years. When I went there, I didn't even know that there's something called pension money. Yeah. I went there because of the love of my country. Absolutely. We go for a quick uh, break and then return with Dr. Charles Mobita. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neo Paints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neo Paints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. Hello and welcome.
welcome to today's Sports Rep Show. I am your host, Jesse Jackson. Kaoraita. In replay, Namibia, who had won the toss for the first time on this tour, Good day everyone, time for international sports news, starting off with tennis news, both on the WTA for women's and... Our conversation with uh, Dr. Mobita continues. Now, Charles, the... How do you... Um, how do you return a party like Swapo to its former glory in a myriad of challenges that we have? Youth unemployment is skyrocketing. Um, poverty levels in the past couple of years have actually picked up uh, again. Uh, so many, many challenges. And, uh, and for you, for, for, from you as uh, freedom fighters, of course, for, for the longest of times, the liberation struggle has been a very beautiful story to sell to the voter. But uh, a voter in 2024 is looking forward to something else other than that rehearsed story. How are you going to navigate your way around that? <laughs> uh, youth unemployment, uh, lack of service delivery, and a number of other challenges mm. are caused by something. They didn't just mushroom one day, there's youth unemployment. They're caused by something. Yeah. So um, if you go to an electorate, you need first of all to explain what is that something that caused that yeah. youth unemployment. And then you need to also then uh, uh, say, what are you going to do yeah. if you find the cause? Yeah. See, if you look at our... our uh, election campaign strategy uh, that we put together. Yeah. We recognize all those challenges. We recognize their causes. We do not deny that they, they, they are not there. They are there. Yeah. Uh, and there have been a lot more uh, other challenges. Yeah. So the first thing that needs to be done is that once you have recognized something, it's like <laughs> when we went to uh, to wage war, mm. we knew that the enemy has guns. Yeah. We knew that the enemy had uh, had mobility to move around, and you are going to be walking, fighting against somebody who is mobility. Mm. You do not have food. In. So once you know those challenges, then you'll be able to. Swapo was away long before these challenges came, yeah. was a way that when the country gets independence, the population that we have is too small, it will skyrocket. Yeah. And when it skyrockets, it will come with numerous other challenges, mm. economic, social challenges. It was a way that uh, people will uh, stream to towns and cities. Yeah that uh, the population there will be too much. So you need to deliver services to yeah. those people. Yeah. We were aware of that. We planned the things from 1989, how to address all these issues. And we were aware that some of these issues might become more mm. and bigger. Mm. But as I said, the implementation of that becomes a challenge because you need like-minded people. Yeah to travel the same road. If you do not have the like-minded people, um, you ask yourself, sometimes you sit and you say, how many bills are before parliament? Yeah. And what is, what is uh, enacted? Mm -hmm. Almost nothing, you know? Why? Because you are not like-minded people. Yeah. That's why we are saying, uh, if we are put our efforts behind our plans, um, we will get these things done. Yeah. We'll get these things done. There's nothing, nothing but nothing that's impossible for the Swapo Party to 
achieve in yeah. this country. Yeah. Nothing. We will address youth unemployment, we will address service delivery, that will be done. Yeah. Not, 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 uh, uh, not in 2027. Yeah. But soon. Okay. Do, do you think that um, the Netumbo element will play because it will play in favor, play out in favor of the party? Because what we have observed generally over the years is that uh, there's always <clears throat> the electorate always has this curiosity and 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 giving people the benefit of the doubt whenever there's a new candidate. 2014, President Genkop uh, blew up the numbers. 87% of the vote of the electorate actually gave him the mandate. Um, then the numbers plummeted uh, in 2019. Uh, do you think there's also an element of excitement about first woman president, a potential first woman president, uh, a new candidate for the ruling party and stuff like that? Um, I will say what I, I said some years back yeah. <clears throat> when people were talking about uh, Nan Oshwambo president and all that. Yeah. That was never a factor for uh, His Excellency, mm. uh, Comrade Hage Genkop. That was not the factor that played. What played out is that he was recognized within the party and outside the party as the most capable person yeah. at that time, mm. right? So, and mark my words, uh, next year we'll be counting votes at the end of next year. And I'll tell you, you'll be surprised that uh, uh, the vice president of the Swapo party currently, yeah. uh, who is also the presidential candidate of the party, will score a historic, and I mean a historic victory. Yeah. Not because she is a woman, but because she has built up her reputation from 1974 when she joined the struggle. Mm. Her reputation has been growing. Her achievements, her stoicism, yeah. her ability to face challenges and overcome those challenges yeah. is, 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 is what will make people vote for her. So to me, I am very comfortable as a city eh? yeah. that not only will she score a resounding victory, but the Swapo party will as well uh, score uh, a, a, a tremendous victory. Yeah. You see, what will make it easy for her, if you would have studied her leadership yeah. career and her leadership style, she surrounds herself with go-getters, with achievers, with people that are able to achieve a goal yeah. once the goal is set. Yeah. Right? I have never known her to fail or being in a team that failed. Yeah. I've never known her uh, to do that. She served at the highest levels of the party as a very young person. And a very young person. Yeah. Representative in Tanzania, she was very, very young at that time. Mm. But it's a task that she took uh, with both hands. Yeah, yeah. A, 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 and, and actually excelled. Um, so I have no doubt. I have no doubt. And um, as a mother, as a mother, mm. You know, the love of a mother does not die like, uh, you know, our love with mm -hmm. fathers, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we love our children, that's fine. But there are times we could stay out from, away from our children for a year. Yeah. You know, you call twice or so. Mm -hmm. But for a mother, She's always there. the love of the mother is permanently there. So when that time comes, yeah. 21st March 2025, when she stands on that podium and takes an oath of office, her love for this country will start from there and will be seen from there and it will continue until she finishes her term. Yeah. Very good. The last question then to you, Charlie, is, um, you know, those of you that have been in Swapo 
at different stages or stages of the organization from it being a liberation movement until it became transitioned into a political party you've also seen the changes that the party has gone through uh, and some people say we do not recognize this swap anymore um uh, there are people who are surrounding these leaders wanting to grab positions and get opportunities of, of different types um Naha Sangula was on this show some year, uh, year 2021, I think, and he was talking about how the party is perceived to be this entity for eating, that uh, in order to eat, in order to survive in the country, you ought to be a card-carrying member of the party, you must be seen to be, you know, uh, all these singing songs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. As liberation fighters... How do you shed off these perceptions? These are not perceptions. This is the truth. How do you transform the party into really the entity that it was? That it's people are there for the ideology of the party, and they join the party to say, "This is our vision as a country. This is our what we share. We, sh we share the same vision as the party, and therefore, we join the party on that basis only." Yeah, um, it's a very nice. Uh, no, good question, I should say. And it's thought provoking, and it, you need at least a whole day <laughs> on that. Yeah. Because, you see, there's the following. One, yeah. Yeah. the SWAPO that brought independence here was a liberation movement. So its membership was shaped on the principle of a liberation movement. Yeah. That is where the change is mm. between that SWAPO in the Swapo party. That's the change. Yeah. Now, the current Swapo, the greatest uh, 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 shortcoming that you'd say is because of the membership. There's no distinction right now between a member, a supporter, and a sympathizer. Yeah. There's none. Yeah. That's where the problem is. Yeah. Whereas when uh, the Swapo of yesteryear were there, you knew who exactly is a member, you knew who was a supporter, and you knew who was the sympathizer. Yeah. We know them even today, but the problem is the supporter was afraid to do the job of the of the member yeah. because that was self-sacrifice. Yeah. The sympathizer could not even come closer to a, to a supporter. Do you understand? Mm. The members with people that had, uh, you know, um, basically said, come life, come death, I'm here. Yeah. This is what I stand for. But today's party, these three categories have interchanged. Yeah. You find the supporter and the sympathizer are in the forefront. Yeah. And the member is at the back, in the background. Yeah. So that's where the problem is. Yeah. Um, the guys that are in front would not take a punch or a bullet for the party. They won't. No. They won't. Mm. They will talk sweetly during the day. At night, they do something totally different. Yeah. So it's it, it, this alignment that needs to be, uh, to be done. And I would say um, the party leadership recognized this problem. Yeah. That this problem uh, permeates from uh, section level to branch to district to region up to national level that is why in uh, 2002 the party decided that we need to put together a party school yeah and then the party school came into being in 2017 and the reason is simple that even those who went into exile after going through a forest yeah for 200, 300 uh, kilometers. After crossing the Zambezi or the Kunene or the, the, the Kavango River, when you get to the other side of the camp, the first thing will be asked is, why are you here? Yeah. Because those people that receive you needed to understand your conviction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not asking these questions now to the people who are joining the party. We are not. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. So the party school is now there to make sure that we bring back that orientation you know that yeah. type of uh, uh of, of understanding yeah. to the members so that people should understand why are they 
in the party? Why yeah, yeah. are they there? Yeah. What are the functions? What, what what exactly should should they sacrifice for? Today, if you were to call any 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 of the so-called uh, leaders, yeah. whether district or whatever level, we will stay just two kilometers or three kilometers away and tell them, please, can you come for a meeting? The first thing they'll ask you, do I have transport money? Um, how do I get there? And what do you understand? There's so no, there's no sacrifice. Uh, exactly. Yeah. There is that. That has, has gone. Yeah. The other is the discipline, and that is also going to be brought by the party school. Yeah. Discipline to respect the party as a party, which is basically its constitution yes. and its rules and procedures, yeah. rather than you getting in there for your own personal thing. <laughs> yeah, so, so we will get it right. We are there. <laughs> Jolly. Okay? It's always a good talk to my friend. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Good, good. Yeah, that is... Uh, uh, Dr. Charles Mobita, uh, he's a spokesperson of the Association of uh, Former Swapo uh, Combatants uh, and a plan uh, sharing with us uh, the latest from their association. Thank you for watching.